Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I am bringing you an inventory item. This is a used 2019 Logan Coach Riot 4 horse gooseneck with a weekender package. So we'll go ahead and get started on it. If you all have any questions while we're going through, please don't hesitate to ask. But um, get started right under the gooseneck here. So under here you do have a battery and a battery box and then a battery cutoff switch. This tray does have the opportunity to add another battery if you'd like to do so. And then spare tire, just your standard manual crank jack, and then your safety change, your hookup, um, coupler, and everything like that. So over here on this first door, this is what I mean by a weekender package. We've got the 30M package in here. We've got an AC with the heat strip and then just some extra storage space. You also have a screen door that comes across. So a screen door is gonna be really nice when you're sitting at shows and you've got some downtime, you're hanging out at the trailer, you're able to sit in there, keep the flies out and be able to sit with either screen door open or have your AC running. I mean, there's a few different options you could do. But we'll hop up in here. So this one is a four foot three front tack. You see you've got your um, board right here. This is gonna be all of your, for your 30 amp package. And that plug is on the other side. So when we get around to the other side of the trailer, I'll show you guys. Um, right here, you've got a little mattress. You've got some insulation on the walls. LED lights in here, so you're able to see. You've got your windows with your screen, so you can open those up, get some more airflow going through. Over here on the partition wall, we've got some additional bridle hooks going through. And then up above right here is going to be your AC with the heat strip. So at AC, I mean, sitting at shows, you know, when it's midsummer, you got some downtime, you're dying of heat, you can come in here, kick that heat on as long as you're plugged into either power or have uh, an external power source. Uh, you know, portable generator or something like that, you're able to run that AC for you. So the cool thing about this trailer is it actually has a mid-tack on it. So mid-tack with the dual swinging doors and the dual swing out saddle racks. So these are really nice to have. I mean, you've got both sides to tack horses from. Uh, so if you have a couple, you know, um, tied up on this side and then a couple tied up on the other side instead of having to grab saddles and walk all the way around the trailer to saddle the other horses you can have your stuff on each side it's just very convenient these saddle racks just slide in get out of your way you've got your blanket bars on each door you're gonna have those that swing out so these actually swing so it's easier to layer pads up to get pads on and off and then you also have your um, brush box down here, brush box, extra storage space, whatever you're needing in there. So up in the tack room, you've got plenty of bridle hooks up there. Um, got quite a few lining both sides. I know I have a lot of bridles, so that's really handy to be able to have each one have its own hook. And then over here on the hip side, you've got the bus windows that open up part way. You've got a bright LED light up above, so you're able to tack and untack in the dark. And then down below, we've got two 6,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. Got your steel rims. And then your ties going all the way down, there's four of them. So coming around here to the rear of the trailer, you've got your 50-50 door set up. So it's both swing open independently. Uh, if you only want one open, you can load just through the one. You need a horse that has a, have a horse that needs a little more space um, to feel comfortable loading, you can open both of them up. But stepping up here into the stall area, you've got 
Your last divider is going to be a telescoping divider. So that pushes up, pushes in, and hooks over to the side and out of the way. So if you have to carry Marin full or get that extra space open, you can hook that over. If you're on like kind of an angle and those dividers want to come back at you, you can latch these over so you can get them loaded easier. All, all the dividers are padded, both sides. Really nice padding on these. And then you do have your stud stall for this first divider. So a stud stall is going to be nice. You can either use it if you do have a stud, a horse that likes to step on other horses while you're going down the road, or if you want to use it as an extra storage space, have some storage in there, um, hay, whatnot, you can do that. So then above each stall, you're going to have a roof vent. Those push forward and backwards. So you push them forward, that's going to be sucking air into the trailer. You push them backwards, they're going to be sucking air out. So you can get your maximum airflow going through here with having the drop downs down. Your roof vents, I usually do the first two or three forward, that last one backward, and then having your bus windows open. Each divider stall is going to have a LED light above it. So that's going to be very convenient loading, unloading in the dark. And then in this corner here, I don't know if you can see this very well on camera, but this is a hawk pad. Um, we do sell these individually if you're looking for one, but that's just to prevent that horse from their backing out from sliding against that. It's going to be a little more cushiony for them and they're not going to injure themselves. Up above here, we do have a headache pad. So I know I've got a young one that occasionally likes to rear out of the trailer. Well, instead of hitting her head on this, she's gonna hit that pad instead and it's gonna soften the blow and it's not gonna hurt as bad. Flooring wise, you do have the uh, sure grip flooring with your um, vortex coating over top the aluminum plank flooring. So any kind of liquid, urine, anything is gonna drain through the floor and down onto the ground. So really nice thing about these floors, you're done hauling. If you don't have any shavings in there, just scoop out your solids, spray it down with a hose and you are good to go. Um, if that, you know, the ammonia smell from the year and starts to get too strong, we recommend using Simple Green, just spray it on those areas, let it sit for just a little bit and then spray it out and that'll help get that smell away. And the floor is also grippy, so it does have some grip to it so your horses aren't sliding around. Um, they're gonna have a little more grip to hang on to. You do have an LED light up above on the back. So plenty of lights to go around, all the way around. And then the one other thing I forgot to show you, you do have a butt strap that comes across. So that last horse isn't gonna back out, still tied. Um, they're gonna hit, run into the strap instead. Uh, just a little safety precaution and measure that we put on these trailers. So Logan Coach is a galvanized steel frame, aluminum sheeting on the side, aluminum sheet roof a really nice combo of the two you're getting that strength and integrity of the galvanized steel but you're still getting that lightness of the aluminum um, really nice trailers to have really nice trailers to use they're going to hold their value they're going to hold you know everything within them they're they're sturdy strong trailers but over here on the head side we've got drop downs on all four and I did every other so you can see that these jail bars come down as well. So if you're going on a longer haul, I really like that these jail bars come down because you can offer the horses water, you can check on their feed, you know, see how they're doing without going through the back and risking a horse getting loose, running, and then you got a mess going on. So they're really easy to use. All you gotta do is pull down this middle one and they come down. The thing I really like about Logan's, everything is one-handed on their windows. Well, that one's good. <laughs> so it comes up. Um, I mean, it's one handed. All you got to do is use one hand and then they pop into place. Like you saw, I couldn't get it out, but they pop into place. So they're not flapping against the trailer while you're going down the road. And that way they're not hitting it and banging it up. So really, really nice. And then these mesh sheets come standard on the Logan trailers. So those are going to pre prevent any kind of rocks getting in your horse's eyes, you know, bugs. When, when you're going 65, 70 miles an hour and a bug flies in and hits them in the face, that hurts. So that's really nice and you don't have to worry about putting a fly mask on a horse. So above over here, you do have another LED light. So like I was saying, you've got LED lights all the way around this thing. You're gonna have plenty of light when you're loading, unloading in the dark, tacking, untacking in the dark, just very convenient. 
and then over here, this is the other door for the mid tack uh, with the swing out saddle rack again. So you've got eight saddle racks on this trailer. It's a four horse, but you got eight saddle racks. Really convenient. I know some people have multiple saddles per horse. Um, if you're doing different disciplines or if you've got you know horses in training, you're gonna have multiple saddles to be able to fit that horse specifically um, and fit them better. So really nice to have additional saddle racks for sure. So that one swings back in easily. And then you've got additional blanket poles. So four on each door, so eight again. So plenty of space for your saddles and your blankets, brush box down to below, lots and lots of storage. So that 30 amp package I was talking about, this is your plug-in right here. Um, so that, there we go. So that's your 30 amp package. Uh, either hook into, you know, an RV type um, plug. You can probably run 110 to it. You're just not gonna be able to run that AC or have a portable generator sitting on the side. We do have um, the Onin 4500 portable gens in our parts department. So if that's something you're looking for, definitely give them a call. But this trailer, we are sitting at, let's see here, we're sitting seven tall. We're sitting seven feet, three inches wide. We've got a five foot mid tack. And then we're sitting 26 feet on the floor. Um, empty weight on this is 7,260 pounds. So this is going to be stock number 5U, 210, 429, and that's a 2019 Logan Co. Try It for a horse gooseneck. This trailer is still available at the moment, so if it's one you've been eyeing, make sure you snap on it before it's gone because they're going pretty quick right now. Um, if you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers we have in our lot, or if you go to our website and you see a lot of drawings, those are trailers we have on order. So if you have any questions on those ones, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone at 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451, or you can shoot me an email at morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N, dot noll, K-N-O-L-L, -L, at transwest.com. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business, and I hope you have a great day.